back at the Singapore Indoor Stadium where we await the start of the men's singles semifinal. Peter Gator, former world number one from Denmark, taking on the 18-year-old Indonesian Taufik Hedayat. Another match taking place, H. Hendrawan of Indonesia facing his compatriot, Perianto Arby. That's the other men's semifinal. We'll keep you updated on that one. They are going into the third set. You see the Danish flag being waved here. Some of the fans from Denmark making their way to the indoor stadium. There's Taufik, followed by the 22-year-old Peter Gator. Very difficult match to call. These two guys hooked up in a thriller back at the prestigious All England Championship. Gator winning at 15-10 in the third. And Brian Langley, Taufik has a bright, bright future in international badminton. I think he's going to give Gator all he can handle today. Yeah, I mean, they've played three times before. Peter Gator has won on each of those occasions, but uh, his opponent has only just turned 18. So, you know, when you're at that sort of age, 16, 17 losing matches, you're gaining in strength. You know, you're not, he's not even half mature. I mean, he almost looks, I don't know, he looks 14 to me, not, not, even, not even 18, but he's a wonderful talent very exciting player and uh, Peter Gator has an awful lot of respect for him and says he's looking forward to the match obviously he hopes to make it for nothing here but uh, he knows that this kid is really coming a long way very fast won the sea games in Brunei a month or so ago and according to a lot of the Indonesians here he's their big hope for the future I did see in the paper. Let's have a look at uh, his results through to the quarterfinals. See Peter Gator outlasting the Indonesian Budi Santoso, and then Taufik Hidayat. Think surprising Marlevi Monaki in their quarterfinal hookup. And you see the bottom half draw. H. Hendrawan won the first set against Herianto Arbi, former world champion. Herianto took the second. They are late in the third set. We'll keep you updated on that. Hender won, by the way, eliminating the Olympic champion, Paul Eric Hoyer Larson. Uh, sorry, I was just going to jump in there. And Hender won the defending champion who beat Peter Gader in this tournament last year. Uh, it's, they're both fascinating. Uh, there we are, just just checking on the past winners. Hender won and Arby Herianto winning it the year before. And then Joko Suprianto, who is the coach of uh, Tofik. Uh, now, so the old man has retired and uh, has got Torfik Hidayat under his wing. Interesting note, Artie Wiranata, who won it in 94, now competes for the United States of America. He entered for the USA at the World Championships. So only Indonesians have tasted victory in the Konica Cup final. Peter Gator has noted that no non-Asian, of course, has won the Konica Cup. Peter Gator this year won the Japan Open, won the All England, as we said, beating uh, his opponent today in the final in three sets. Uh, was runner-up last year, 201. And uh, he has the distinction of being world's number one for a total of 62 weeks. Was finally supplanted uh, recently, actually in the last couple of weeks, by Sun Jun of China, who seems to have uh, Peter Gator's number these days. World Championships for Taufik reached the round of 16. There you see finalist at the All England where he lost to Peter Gator. Konica Cup last year really doing nothing. Round of 64. So a huge improvement for him. To go back to Peter Gator for a second, you saw on the graphic he lost in the semifinals of the World Championships. That was a crushing loss for the Dane going down to Fung Permati. But the great thing about I think both these guys, I haven't seen uh, Torfik Hitter yet play, so this is all going to be new to me. Peter Gator, though, is one of the more interesting players to watch because he does try the unorthodox, sometimes to the uh, dismay of his coaches, uh, and he especially likes to do the unexpected on the big points. And, you know, you're either a hero or a villain when you try that sort of thing, but it does make fascinating watching. And by all accounts, uh, Torfik is uh, just as ambitious you know he's got the sort of the uh, the innocence of youth if, uh, about him 
and doesn't really understand what pressure is yet. So he, we've got two very exciting players here, and I expect this to be a wonderful semi-final. Two huge individual talents Ladies with bright, bright futures. International right, badminton. Taufik Hidayat, Indonesia. And on my left, Peter Gale Christensen, Denmark. Taufik to serve, love all, play. Topic with a shot into his body, couldn't fight that one off. Peter Gator gets the serve back. Peter Gator will try to come to the net. He likes to dominate close to the net. That's his, uh, his main strength. He's got a wonderful variety of net play shots. Waiting on that shot, see if it would go in. Then still, able from the underhand position to get the good clear. I mean, this is all timing here. Hits the uh, shuttle so cleanly. It's a rare talent. It's like the ability that of anyone, really, whatever sport, golfers, some players just hit the ball One cleaner than others. Love. Badminton, some people shuttle better than others you know in tennis some people hit it better than others and he's obviously got that ability he's only slight he's uh, giving away quite a few inches to Peter Gator who's about 6-1 one. One. push deep to the forehand side of Taufik one. so we're tied at one Dane will change shuttles. You saw the ability there of Peter Gator to come in and then invent something at the net. He was in a position, he had a choice of about three shots. Oh, Chalpik. And right around the back of his head, able to knock it back. One all. Well, a sixth sense of just knowing where the shuttle is what's happening to it he caught that cleanly in the center of the strings as well and from that point Peter Gator was lunging from side to side with Taufik's backhand drives. One, Once again, oh. he found that space on the forehand side with his opponent, expecting it to go back across court. The flick there, a little bit of a hand pump as well. So the early emotion being shown by Peter Gator. Two, one. And on the live action, Taufik returning the serve into the net. So now, former world number one leads 2-1. Real unforced error there from Peter Gader. One, two. Taufik had two, that in his sight. Oh. All the way, letting that go. Tying it up at two. Well played by Taufik, finishing it off, but set it up well with the forehand drive. Three, 
Taufik then fights off the net cord from the Dane and doubles up at 4-2. Well played to the forehand side, excuse me, the backhand of Peter Gator, who could only watch it. Badly. I think what we're seeing here is Tarfik's supreme two. ability to hit the shuttle so cleanly and his defensive ability. He just looks so composed here. Oh no. Just coming up short. And the Dane badly needed that. He's two. in a hole trailing 2 6. Well, you know, this is not uh, Joko Suprianto, he's one of the Indonesian coaches, but uh, Joko has the vast experience in these singles at the very top level. But this young kid is, you know, he's not, he's not letting a shuttle get past him. Rare mistake. Two, six. Two smashes, taking a couple of steps in for the second one. That sends the Indonesian fans into delirium. Two. Great elevation on the jump. See, and then the key for the second smash was that he was able to come in about three paces and get a much steeper angle on it. Very aggressive play. with a feeble shot into the net. So Peter Gator gets it back. Still trailing by four. Updated the Henderwan Herianto Arby match. Late in the third game, former world champion Herianto leading 12-9. Gator, first clean smash. Three, six. Peter Gator has admitted that he starts to get uh, frustrated if he can't hit the floor, i.e. He, he can't hit winners. And he has had, uh, on occasions, a bit of a mental block when he's just lost that in ability to kill. And right into the body of Taufik. Two straight points by the Dane. And that's on the line. Taufik take a touch careless in letting that go. Five, six. Jim Laugerson, big friend of Peter Gator on the left. Love playing computer games together. The favorite at the moment is a football managing, oh. management game. He's a big Liverpool fan, this man. Now 7-6. That is five consecutive points from the world Seven, number one. Six. with every shot there comes up short below the tape and Peter Gator after trailing 6-2 now on top 8-6 Peter Gator struggling in that rally just to keep it uh, keep it alive not really trying to do too much yeah. 
Wonderful cross-court drop shot. Such finesse Nine, from six. Peter Gader. This has quickly changed around, isn't it? Southwick lets that go wide. Halting a run of seven six, straight nine. points for the Dane. I'm not even sure Peter Gator needed to retrieve that one that was wide on his forehand. Danish coach has already watched some of the Danish team go down. Speaking of Michael Sogard and Ricky Olsen, who lost in the mixed doubles final. Kim Dong Moon and Ra Kyung Min, world number one, world champions, now the Konica Cup champions, 1999. If you're just joining us. Taufik plays that well wide. Goes wide. You can see Taufik step in on it. He wasn't sure if that was going to go in or not. Nine. Wasn't that a great smash, though, from Taufik? I really am impressed with how cleanly he hits the shuttle. And pushed off the backhand, Taufik. Peter Gator committed to defending the backhand of his own. Left a lot of court open. And the net court, how did that get over? Eight, nine. Well, Gator on the back foot. Uh, once he was sh shuttling back, excuse the pun, there was no way that he was going to retrieve the drop. tied at nine. It's a little run for Taufik. Three straight points. Anything short is going to get killed by Taufik. Goes back into the lead. Lots of ebb and flow in this first game. Okay. It's a final now. Herianto Arby has knocked out the defending champion, Hendra Wan. So Herianto going back to the Conica Cup final where he won two years ago. Defending champion dismissed. Sorry, Sean, set up by a so wonderful drop shot at the net. Nine, ten. It was so tight, it just had to come up high, give him the air. It was, a, uh, it was open for Gator to finish it off. Nine, ten, first game. Gator's having some real success taking those shots directly ten, into the body four. of Taufik. He's got to work really hard. He knows that. He's got to work hard to get in quickly to the net. He's got great footwork. Very, very fit. That just misses. 11, 10. Peter Gator letting that go from the moment it left out the bracket. He takes over on the lead, 11-10. That just inside the line, two-point lead for the Dane. Again, great deception 12, from Gaida. Tafik expecting the drive deep. The flick there, you see, he's making his way back. Half a stutter. It just drops on the outside edge of the line. Yeah. 
perfect tumble shot at the net by Taufik. That's no mistake. No good fortune either. Practice for hours to get that sh shuttle hitting the top of the tape and then rotating. You can't hit it until it comes out of its spin. Goes long. Some indecision by the Lions judge. Changed his, changed his decision. 12. I think that's what bothered Peter Gator was the hesitancy. gentlemen with the retrieval I like the shot selection of Taufik Gator right down the middle for the winner and Taufik let well, Gator off the hook there yes. you had the uh, world number two scrambling all over the court some great uh, defensive work sure but there were a couple of indecisive shots and then it was be Gator was able to turn it around it's a bit more like it. leaping to the skies Taufik going cross-court with the 12. smash. Indonesian will change shuttles. Great poise for an 18-year-old. Well, these youngsters don't come through by accident. You know, they're put through, especially with the Indonesian squad and the Chinese squad, to get even to into a major tournament. They will have played, they've probably they've played all the best players in the world within their own squad and uh, they're introduced very carefully onto the international circuit so it's not really sort of christian's throne of the lions that's on the line so it's over. 12, 11. Splendid shot play from Taufik. First the net core and then going wide to the forehand. Well, it wasn't a bad serve from Peter Gaeta either. 11, but to actually respond 12. with that drop shot, tumble over the tape, absolutely brilliant touch under pressure 11-12 uh, first game you can't let Peter Gator close in on the net like that yeah it's the old one too 12-11 shot to the back and then he comes in for the for the follow-up see it's automatic he hits it and he's, he's running as soon as he as soon as he lands and then a miss hit by Taufik 13 11 so Peter Gator restores his two-point lead and now he's within two of taking the one game lead and gets over there game point coming up 14 game point 11 well that boarded on the fringe of a, a steer rather than a hit from Gaida. It was almost as if he caught it on the on the racket and just spooned it across. Down the line from Taufik. You can hear the whip of that forehand smash. 11-14. long 
The 18 year old within one, within two at 12 14. getting over now 13 14 there's a long way for Peter Gator to go to actually retrieve the drop shot at the net just one point to get it to 14 all and then into a setting procedure there's no room for error at this stage of the game and this is where I said before Peter Gator likes to uh, try the unexpected but I think Taufik does as well that goes over the head of Peter Gator, and there's no way he was going to touch that shot. So now 14-13, his second game point. Well, that actually was a high percentage sort of rally for Peter Gator. Just stay there, those low, flat drives, much uh, less chance of error. Gator into the net. Taufik still alive in this first game. Well, Taufik was almost horizontal when he played that backhand flick cross court. I mean, how he thought of hitting that, I have no idea. Dana, we're tied at 14. So Peter Gator select to set to three here. This was a clever shot by Tarfik because he ex anticipated that Gator was going to come in, pressurize the net. So that was a little clear over his head, a lob if you like. And Peter Gator has indicated that they will be setting to 17. Judgment at the line 14, all. by the Dane. Tied at 14. Peter Gator on the serve. Make it 15-14. 15-14. deception from the backcourt well that uh, all the hallmarks of a blistering smash didn't it when he took off 14, up in 15. the air and then he just holds it back that's a wonderful shot now those serving trailing Peter Gator 14 15 and a set to 17 Very loose serve, too high over the net. 15, 14. Oh, that was given to Peter Gator on a plate. You hear the tink, the miss hit from Taufik. Game point again to Peter Gator at 16, 14. Drifting well wide. Service over, 14, 16. That was wrong. Mr. 
mistake there. It was the open court as well for Tafik. So another chance to wrap up this first game for Peter Gator. Hasn't come easily though for the Dane. Third game point. And three times the charm for Peter Gator, 17-14. And go back to when he was trailing 6-2, went on a huge seven-point run. That got him back into the first game. And he takes it 17-14. Game two, when we return to the indoor stadium. In Singapore, you're watching Konica Cup, 1999. Sean Parker along with Brian Lang. Peter Gator, 17-14 in that first game. Taufik Hidayat came back to get it to 14 two, all, seconds. then making some mistakes late Clock in two, that first game. So the world number two, one game closer to returning to the Konica Cup final, a loser a year ago to Hendrawan, who, if you're just joining us, lost earlier this afternoon to Harryanto Arby in three games, but at times, Brian, Taufik Hedayat in that first game looked absolutely brilliant, particularly on the forehand smashes. Well, he's obviously got some weapons that just raise him above the level of the, uh, the other good players around him. And that's why everyone in uh, Indonesia is calling him, I think it's Wirabaru, the new hero. Uh, they reckon he's going to be the best since Rudy Hartono. I mean, that's a huge bit of pressure to put on a youngster. Peter Gator applies some pressure of his own with the backhand at the net. <laughs> Taufik whips back Some a forehand of his own. Love one. This hit from Peter Gator. One all. Hasn't got a big smash in any event. You know, I mean, he's, it certainly doesn't have the penetration that Taufik has. Service over. One all. A little too aggressive from the Dane there. He had the whole court to work One, with with a retreating Taufik. Well, he was actually trying to hit him. He was trying to go straight for the body, but uh, you could see they just a fraction offline. Taufik was able to let it go like a, like a matador. Dropping inside the line. Peter Gator laying off that shot Two, and it cost one. him. There is a slight drift from left to right at that far end of the court, but even so, that would have still dropped on the line had it gone straight. So, major error of judgment there by Peter Gator. Some of the players here at the indoor stadium have noticed that it is drafty inside this building. Down the line and just missing. Good Three, call. One. Taufik, you'll notice, hardly breathing. <laughs> Drop shot off the so net cord. One. Three. Peter Gator trail, trailing by two on the serve. Two, three. So 
loose shot from Taufik. Well, with Taufik jammed in the back forehand corner, there was that space to be exploited, but it still is a very risky shot, this one. The little flick, drop. And Gator, superior net play there against the Indonesian youngster. The main worry with those shots is that you don't reach over the net, either playing the shot or uh, finishing it off, you know, after you've hit it. Got to keep your, your racket your side of the net. And the cross court, half smash, really. Peter Gator didn't get all of that Five, shot. Good enough, though. Three. Well, Peter Gator is very selective about when he smashes because he knows he hasn't got quite the penetration and he uses it sparingly and he uses it well. That was a very smartly shot and he couldn't have hit it any better than that. Goes long, halting a run of four consecutive points in the world number two. He had the touch shot at the net. Five, Peter Gator well away three. from that. So he shows you the deception there. Taufik was uh, nicely poised, balanced, waiting for the shot from Gator. And that little flick there. So it's something that they'll practice for hours, one against the other, just those little black uh, backhand flicks. Too tough a shot, really, to the far backhand side. Taufik couldn't do much with it, and he was exposed. But again, you know, that's what I was saying about how sparingly Peter Gator actually smashes. And... Uh, you choose the right moments to hit it, you're going to hit the winners. Snap back at the body Three, of the Dane. <laughs> to the short side, the backhand of Taufik. Six, three. <coughs> A couple of loose shots from the Indonesians in this game. Seven, three. Peter Gator, for those of you who don't follow Bounding closely, dates fellow Dane, Camilla Martin. She's already knocked out of the Konica Cup. They are very much the object of the media's attention back in their native Denmark. Well, it's not an uncommon uh, occurrence in the world of badminton. You had Susie Susanti and Alin Budi Kasuma, both uh, Olympic singles champions, and now married, of course. S Sun Jun is uh, the fiancé of Ge Fei, both world number ones. I don't know that uh, when you lose your world number one ranking, there is Camilla Martin in the audience looking on. I don't know if that, whether that means if you lose, you go in the rankings, it puts your relationship at risk, but uh, they both know what it's, it's like to be under the glare of the spotlight. They probably find a great deal of comfort. They both have that experience.
the body of Taufik. Those are the shots Peter Gator was looking for earlier in this game. Great. So he is starting to run away with it here in game two, up 9-3. Rare mistake Three, on the smash nine. from Ada. Perhaps trying to finish off the point too quickly. Oh. And he gets the serve back easily. Nine. Three. Taufik sending a lot of shots outside the lines here, the indoor stadium. Three, well, it looks like a stupid thing to do, to just push it long there, but uh, there's not actually much of a, a window that he can hit it in when he's that close to the net to make sure that it lands inside the line. You know, the, the, the angle that he hits, it's got to be so precise. Another shot into the body of Taufik. There's the smash used selectively. That catches the line. And he's in the double digits at 10-3. You notice in this second game how few opportunities Taufik's had to smash compared with what he was doing in the first game and how much more Peter Gader is in that position. Obviously, change of tactics after the break. And uh, this has been a much better second game for Peter Gader. That's called long. The 18-year-old trails by six. Cross court smash. Gator using that weapon in two of the last three points. Miss hit as Peter Gator reached for it. Four, ten. Say, so Laugerson, uh, one of the Danish team members on the left. More of a doubles player. And the back shot from Taufik, but it goes for naught. Peter Gator really has turned this game around in the second game. Made a few tactical adjustments. And it's Taufik now having to deal with those shuttles that are hit down to him. He was given too much uh, in the air in the first game, allowing him to smash. Peter Gator will change shuttles, leading by six, up a game here in the semifinal. Winner this to face Perianto Arby. Men's singles final. We'll have that one for you tomorrow live on ESPN. Nice exchange at the net. One by. A yeah, little shot there. You see the tumble, the shuttles rotating. You have to wait till it straightens up before you can hit it. If you hit the feathers, it's going to go nowhere. Peter Gator pushing it back, so he's got the serve, leading 10-4. Oh. Make it 11-4 as Taufik. 11-4. With a careless shot, well long.
this is just long. Good judgment. You know, you think back to that ladies' singles we just had with uh, Yonekura and Gong Zi Chao. They were both breathing so heavily towards the end of the game. Look at this young man. You wouldn't think, you'd think that maybe he's only just finished his warm up. Gator goes wide with the cross court smash. But you're right, he doesn't appear tired at all. Ah, the sweet bird of youth, the 18 year old Taufik. Now, Peter Gator better be careful. I mean, he's enjoying a, at the moment a five point lead. A couple of loose shots, though, that uh, easily is whittled down. The pressure's back on him. Well played drop shot. Topic was not looking for that. Peter Gator earns the serve 11. back at 11 6. Can't do anything with it though. Weak shot. Well, it's Six. not the first time in this 11. match that Taufik has replied with a soft drop shot on the low on the low serve. Wow. Again, behind the back. But usually a shot 11. like that born more Six. out of desperation than anything else. And he had Peter Gator caught out of position. Dane going into the net. Taupik goes long. Six, 11. It's almost like a serve and volley technique. You go for broke, go to the net. If you get past, OK. The backhand smash from Taupik. And he made it look so easy. Very 11, tough shot. 11. To flick it down with that amount of, generate that amount, amount of pace. Beautiful racket control. I think you agree. We know more and more. Talpik is getting Peter Gator caught out of position. Down the line and wide. And remember when he was up 10-4? Six-point lead. Now that lead trimmed to just three points. And Talpik charging here in game two. That's long. 9-11. Wonderful serve as well. Gator so anxious to get in and attack it. Got himself out of position. Almost overrun the shuttle. Cross court misses wide. Suddenly Peter Gator can't find the court. And as you noted before, that's when he starts to get frustrated. He's now put three smashes wide into the tram lines from that sort of position. Well left by Peter Gaida. Tried to make sure that he kept in the rally there and put the pressure on Taufik to go for the shots. Peter Gator has the serve back, but now his lead has been reduced to just a single point. And that's between the legs, now 12-10. And that's the first smash in a long while that he's actually managed to get uh, into court. Missing long, just beyond the line. As often as I've watched Peter Gade Christensen, it never comes easy. He's missed it again. That's four times. 11, 12. And Taufik's now starting to just feed him. Well, actually, he's mixing up the serves pretty well. Gator just going for broke. A series of errors on the return of serve. Tarpik just putting it up, 
high. Go on, have another go. So now tied, and Taufik has come from a long way back. Quick update of ladies' singles going on in the adjoining court. Yasuko Mizui of Japan is tied one game apiece with Ye Zhao Ying. They're fighting to meet Gong Zichao in the finals. And Peter Gaeta once again showing his anxiety to finish this off. He stopped playing the badminton that he was playing in the early part of the game, and he's just trying to overpower his opponent, who's just standing there looking so composed. And uh, from 4-10 down, Taufik has the lead. 12-13 is the 13-12 the score. Gator goes into the net and from a long way back Taufik has now built himself a game point two of them in fact still not breathing heavily luck on Taufik a complete miss hit off the frame well, and it was enough to wrong foot the youngster so Gator fights off that game point trails by two Down the line, now 13-14. Remember, they set to 17 in game one. Well, it was a change of tactic from Peter Gator. He's missed so many of the cross-court smashes. This time, 14. he cleverly goes down the line. Much safer option for him. did not to make a play on that or maybe it was the fact that he couldn't get there anyway well it really is pressure time now but of course Peter Gator has won the first game he's got the first game under his belt 13. but it would be a huge psychological shift in momentum if this young man were to be able to come all the way back and take it into a third and deciding game as indeed did the final of the All England earlier this year between them. And that just misses, and Brian, you're right, that's where we are headed. We are going to a game three. Gator arguing with the chair umpire at the end of that, but Taufik survives. He was down 10-4, and he takes it 15-13. Unbelievable turn of events. More from the Konica Cup when we return. Trailing 10-4, Taufik Hadayat goes on 11-3 run to square this semifinal matchup at one game apiece. Peter Gator having some difficulty closing out the 18-year-old. Remember, Taufik Hadayat has never beaten the former world number one. There you see Peter Gator accompanied by his coach and girlfriend, Camilla Martin. It's going to be a test of uh, his professionalism. See how he responds here. What he needs is another start in the next game like he had in game two. You see the quarterfinals. Peter Gator having to come from a game down to knock off Booty Santoso. That, after not dropping a game, is either Ramesh Nathan or the Malaysian. Former number one, Rashid Siddiq, seven and eight. Meanwhile, for the Indonesian, here's how he reached the final four. Only dropping a game to Malaysian Jason Wong in the second round. Marlevi Monaki, after a tight first game, yielding 15-2. So Taufik Hidayat showing he's got some real staying power. And after losing three straight matches to Peter Gator Christensen, 
how badly do you think he wants this match now tied at one game apiece against the former number one? Well, obviously, they're here to win, so they both uh, have got uh, every confidence and belief in their own ability. I mean, he's too young to, to think anything other than uh, just going out and playing his game, but he's shown such maturity on the pressure situations. A little bit shaky, perhaps, one or two points at the end of the first game, but uh, such composure to really capitalize on the mistakes and the anxiety of Peter Gaeta, who was trying, I think, too hard to finish it off. Final game. When he was 10-4 up, then uh -oh. it was, uh, he was gradually Wait. hauled back. But it's going to be a fascinating third and deciding game. Oh, Touch shot over. works for Peter Gaeta as he gets the serve back. I think I mentioned earlier that uh, Peter Gader and Sun Jun, currently world number one, have that great rivalry going. And I think here we have the birth of another terrific rivalry, an 18-year-old against a 22-year-old. I mean, one. this one could uh, wow. take us through to not just Sydney 2000, but the Olympic Games after that. Just misses long. What impressed me about Taufik, never looks rushed. Always has that extra second where he can stop, think where he wants to place the shot. Well, I wonder what he's got for lungs. I mean, he's not breathing heavily at all. Unbelievable. Peter Gator lunging at it in vain as it goes by. Love two. I think half of the success for Taufik is that his footwork is so good and he shuffles like a boxer. You know, he doesn't take, so he doesn't do steps around the court. He shuffles. And you see Peter Gader is actually sort of lunging around far more than he is. That's on the line. In fact, right on the tee at the back of the court. Two left. Love. So another good start to the game from Peter Gader, but exactly as he did in the second game as well. Taufik into the net. Dane leads for love. For love. I'll tell you about the ladies' singles semi-final taking place on the adjoining court. Ye Zhao Ying over Yasuko Mizui in three games, 11-8 in the decider. So the ladies' singles will be an all-China fair, Gong Zichao against her compatriot and rival Ye Zhao Ying. You'll see it live tomorrow on ESPN. Called on the line. Well, from my Ball. vantage point, it looked wide. But there we are. Agreed. I suppose it all evens out at the end of a match. And Taufik did not respond one iota. Over. That fails to clear the net. And even if it had, Taufik would have just simply slapped it back. See here when it gets very tight there. It's a wonderful shot. It drops back on his own side. It's rare to see Peter Gader beaten in an exchange of net shots. He's amongst other people he has to train with on a regular basis. Paul Eric Hoyer Larson, who's probably got the. Uh, most subtle and deft touch at the net. Paul, Fellow Dane. Former 
champion. Speaking of deft touch, Peter Gator dropping the shuttle right on the line to get the serve back. Up for Love. Stubby's Twice, over. though, he has faltered at the Nine, net in succession. Four. A shot that Taufik simply flails at. This is long. Five left. Good looking lead here for the Dane at five love. Gator beating all hands up with that cross court. Again, there's no preparation to indicate that it was going to go cross court. It's all flick of the wrist at the last moment. The body position gives no clue as to where it's going to go. Gator, as they will be I'm sure satisfied with the start that he's made. He knows that five love is uh, really not the job done by a long way yet. Especially after that, letting the big lead slip away in the second game. Okay. On the line. Five love. Get a better look at it here, perhaps. Yeah, correct call. Love five. Taufik, in addition to Peter Gator, has a good rivalry going with the Chinese player Dong Jiang. Dong Jiang beat him at the Brunei Open back in 1998. Taufik also went down to Dong at the Asian Games in Bangkok late last year. Whip for the smash. The indecision by Peter Gaeta cost him there. The clear One, was only three-quarter length. So he thought it was going long, and then right at the last minute, that was actually going to land about a foot in, so it was well in. So the first point on the board for Taufik. Cheap point for Peter Gaeta. Five-one. About to get the serve back. Still five-one to the Dane. And a drop shot. Do you think that was a miss hit? No. Uh, he's uh, he's actually very good hitting off shots on the return of serve. It's not all power with him, and he and he does that either on the short serves or the long serves to the back of the court. Which is actually a very good return of serve for Peter Gaeta. Five, one. <laughs> Taufik diving out of the way of that, but it drops in. Not sure if it caught the top of his head on the way by. Six, I think it uh, caught the line. See, it's still inside the court. Just that, wide? Yes, that's the call from the linesman. See Taufik immediately wide. turn around Six. to the line judge on that. So he gets the serve back, now trailing by five, changes shuttle. I think he feels as though he may have had the uh, wrong end of a couple of calls in any uh, adverse way. Very correct. Oh. Just Let long. Taufik doesn't Six. like the call. One. Takes a long look at it. Gator's actually quite hesitant on a few of those.
Drop shot comes up short from the Dane. Semi-clover. One, six. You notice that Peter Gade has almost cut out the smash for the moment from his game. There are a couple of opportunities there he had to try and power it down. He made too many mistakes at the end of game two, I think, with the cross court. So maybe the coach has told him to forget that for a while. That misses wide off the two, backhand. Southwick within four. Yeah, I mean, Gator's still up, but four, two six is nothing. I mean, that's uh, well within Taufik's reach. We would have said 10 3 was out of reach, but Taufik managed to erase that in the second game. And he's now three, within three six. at 3 6. Very tight flick. Didn't go over the net, according to the judge. And a mistake there. So a couple of very quick uh, points for Taufik on errors. Lapse of concentration by Peter Gader. He gets off to these good starts. Uh, it's very tough to actually keep that momentum going. Men's doubles match just getting underway. The Korean pair, Lee Dong Su, Yu Yong Sung, against the Indonesians, Chandra Wajaya and Tony Gunawan. We'll keep you updated on that match as it progresses. So, and that's the surprise element. You know, and he hasn't got that penetrating a smash. And if you start sort of trying to hit it too often and it starts, it comes back with frequency, you lose your rhythm, lose your confidence. Four, Meanwhile, the smash six. from Taufik works to get the serve back. Uh, he's got a good smash. Number five is big in Africa. Dance to watch the soccer action between Lazio. 6-1. Taufik, though, on a roll. Drops on the line. Six, four. The one area that uh, Taufik probably got to sort out is that return straight down the middle channel. That's where Peter Gator has got the majority of his points. You could see him hesitate, didn't, wasn't quite sure what he wanted to do with that low on the backhand. I think he was trying the ex extravagant fake. He was trying to hold it to the last minute to see whether Taufik was going to move. Uh, but Taufik just stayed and watched. There, Peter Gator rushing a shot. So his lead now five, reduced to a single six. point at 5-6. Great bit of defensive work from Taufik there. See how quickly he's back up into position. It's over. Six, five. So Peter Gator, a shaky one point lead. Still early in this third game. Net shot, not high enough. It's the first time in a long while the Danes picked up a point. Gator only had one chance at it. Taking that shot early, that didn't work. Five, seven. Peter Gator coming up short. Take a look at this. Taufik into the net. And that dies on the Dane side. Back again within one. A little trace of a smile from the Dane. He knew he was outfoxed with that shot. 
danced on the tape, couldn't get over. One point lead for Peter Gabe. Taufik still looks fresh, Brian. I uh, just can't get over and praise enough how economical he is in his movement around the court. I mean, obviously, great aerobic uh, ability as well. But everything he does is just so controlled. Line with the emphatic out call. Taufik driving this shuttle effectively against Peter Gator. Six, seven. Oh, that's way wide. So we're tied, folks. Seven all. Midway through game three. Just trickling over. You see the disgust on the face of Peter Gator. Well, the Danish coach, I think, may be looking uh, and feeling rather concerned after Gator has given away two big leads in succession. Five love up in this game three, and he was 10-3 uh, up in game two, only to see the 18-year-old. And uh, the Indonesian coaching staff must be licking their lips at the prospects of just how far this 18-year-old youngster can go. I mean, he's only just 18. Was it uh, a couple of weeks ago turned 18? Eight, seven, play. August 10th, I believe. You see now the Dane trying to finish off points quickly. Frustration creeping into the game of Peter Gator. And Taufik catching those drives by Gator in the middle of the racket each time. On the backhand, then just down by the right knee. Great stuff. It's a good one. You hear the screams from the Danish fans trying to spur Peter Gator back into this third game. And trying to cut that shot, take it the length of the net, goes nowhere, still trails by two. I think he had half an eye on the movement of Taufik through the net. It looked as though Taufik had whatever he was going to come up with covered. That net proving to be a real hurdle. For Peter Gator. Ten, seven. Three point lead now for Taufik after trailing 5 0. That misses now 11 7. It's getting away from Peter Gator in a hurry. Well, the problem for him now is he couldn't finish it off when he was ahead. What does he do to start uh, getting a few quick points here? If he lets it go any longer, he's going to be in real trouble. Well, that was better. But Taufik has got such a great all-round game. Defensively, he's able to cover the court. Peter Gator can't smash his way through. Oh. That's going to drop wide. Is over. 11, Peter Gator seven. inconsistent in this third game. Good shot, followed up by one that goes well wide. can smell it now at 12-7. And he's caught coverage absolutely superb. 12-7. But the racket control as well. 
So it's all short shuffle steps. Keeps his body nicely balanced. That's a good smash. It's been a long time since we saw Peter Gator use the smash. That's the first time, in fact, since halfway through the second game that he's managed to put away one of those high cross-court smashes off the serve. He looks so calm in making his decision whether to leave well, it or take it. Taufik. In complete command of all of his shots and the entire court. Five point lead, three points away from beating Peter Gator for the first time in four tries. 12 7. Hesitate. I, at first thinking that shot was going wide. Yeah, he pointed Seven, back to the one. line thinking he could have left it. That one there. He looked straight back down. Yeah, might have gone out, maybe. Very tight, though. Taufik's getting it back 12, exactly where he was seven. before. Up 12-7 in game three. <laughs> and behind the back goes nowhere. Well, it was a behind the back with a difference. It was almost straight behind him. We've got to get a chance to see it from his angle. Oh, perfect tumble shot, but a moment of good fortune there that Peter Gator acknowledges. But just think back to that recovery deep on the backhand side, Taufik to keep the shot in play. Wow. That was unbelievable. And this is uh, how it's going to finish. You see, absolutely impossible shot once it rolls over the net like that. Almost like it was Velcroed to the top of that net. That goes long. So again, the brilliant point from Peter Gator, but he can't follow it up. That's the definition of inconsistency. 12-8. The lead for Taufik as he takes over on the serve. And looking at him there, I still don't sense fatigue at all from the 18-year-old. Some good network of his own. 13-8, two points away from the upset. And Taufik's making all the right decisions here on the, uh, the drop shot when to go deep. Trying to end that rally early, the cross court, half smash. On the line, Taupik doesn't agree with the line judge at all. Well, chair umpire actually saying good call. Uh, of course, he's got nothing to add or detract from the uh, issue. Into the net. Two careless shots, really. The backhand was half-hearted from Peter Gator to extend the rally. And Gator cannot afford to make those sort of mistakes at this point. Trailing by four. 
is showing the uh, young opponent two points away from a place in the final. Gaida, uh, I think it's worth saying yet one more time, was 10-3 up in the second game, having won the first. Five love up in the third as well. There, Peter Gator charging into the net. Get the serve back. That gives the Danish fans something to cheer about. They've been sitting on their hands for most of this third game. That's big for Peter Gator. He's now within hailing distance, down 10-13. Missing down the line. And I think when he was in the air, the shot on there was the cross court, no question about it. And I think he was sort of halfway up in the air and thinking, oh, no, 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 I keep making mistakes. That's so he changed it to go down the line. That doesn't work either. Taufik has the serve back at 13-10. 14-10, he looks back at his coach, raises his fist and says to himself, I have four match points on a guy that's beaten me three straight times. What a brilliant drop shot. The upset is complete. For the first time in four tries, Taufik Hidayat has knocked off Peter Gade Christensen. Indonesian fans here at the indoor stadium love it. This 18-year-old overcomes a major obstacle in his career. One by I think we are seeing the birth of a real star for Indonesian badminton. Taufik Hidayat will meet Haryanto Arbi in the men's singles final of the Konica Cup. Arby won that title two years ago. We'll have more from the Konica Cup when we return in a moment. <laughs> 